hello y'all. Welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome to Apron Strings. My name is Gay, and if this is your first time to be here, I'm so glad you're here in the kitchen with me. And if you've been here forever with me, welcome home. Uh, I'm going to start the video today by giving y'all an update. And I've been told, don't share your personal life. I've been told, you become family with your community and you need to share. Well, because y'all already know what's going on in our world with Troy, I thought I'd give you a quick update. We went today for an appointment with the transplant team. And because the pressure in his lungs is so high, <clears throat> because his heart is thickened, and it can't pump the blood like it should, it puts pressure on the lungs trying to distribute. I don't understand all of it. The good Lord made the heart, and we just enjoy how it works. Anyhow, long story short, they've got him on a pill that expands the vessels in the lungs to take some of the pressure off, where the, the vessels are bigger and the blood can flow through easier. That gives him horrible migraine headaches. He has to take one every eight hours, and they want him to take this for 30 days. So, weighing the pain against how good it is for him, he needs to keep taking it. So, they said if they took his information today and presented it to the uh, board, they re would reject him because of the, the lungs. If they put a new heart in, it, it, could, it would die because it couldn't handle the pressure in the lungs. So, we go back eight weeks from today for a blood draw, and then on Wednesday, we will have another heart cath to check the pressure in the lungs and in the heart, and if everything's better, then he'll be presented for them to review all of his information and maybe be put on the transplant list. If not, we don't know what. We're just asking the good Lord to direct our steps and to take care of Troy and to give him what's the best quality of life. So, <clears throat> we've never walked this road before, and one reason I'm telling y'all things as we go along, we don't have anybody to consult with and ask questions or to go back and listen to what they have to say. I am keeping a journal and I will uh, update every now and then on here or as often as we find something out and maybe it'll help somebody down the way. I thought about starting and I may do a sister channel on the heart transplant once we get an okay, a definite and just kind of follow from there, I'm not sure. But in the meantime, I want to thank every one of you for every email, every text, every message, every prayer. I appreciate it. And I'm trying to answer every one of you that comment. Sometimes I'm two weeks late, but I'm sorry. Maybe I'll get back, out of which I think the next eight weeks will kind of be regular. We'll just hang around the house because he can't afford to be around anybody that's sick. He can't catch anything. So we're going to kind of be here, and I'm ready to sew. So I'm going to do a video probably this week um, on the material that I have for aprons and get some more apron orders to keep me busy, keep my mind occupied. And, of course, I'll keep making my videos. Thursday is still going to be cooking for one or two. And then Tuesday and Saturday is whatever I decide. That being said, we're going to have something today to make it feel a little festive around here. Because it's kind of kind of wearisome having to wait and wonder and not know. And, and sometimes you feel like you're all alone in the corner. And then you get all those sweet words and prayers and encouragement. And you know that God's got a whole team rooting for you. But today I'm going to make us some Texas caviar. And it's not hard to make. I've already done all the chopping and everything to get it ready. It's good as a side salad. It's wonderful with pinto beans, even though it has black-eyed peas in it. Um, it's just a good side, or it's really good on a chip. So I'm going to uh, tilt the camera where y'all can see what we're doing, and we're going to mix this up. And it's good right after you make it, but it's better if you can put it in the ice box refrigerator for a few hours and let your flavors all get married and happy together. But we're going to make Texas caviar. And uh, if you've never had it before, you're missing out on a treat. So come on over to the Butcher Block. That's some of y'all's favorite words. Let's get over to the Butcher Block and get this show on the road. Okay, I did not get my uh, peas and hominy open, so I'm going to do that right quick and take them over to the sink and drain them. 
one, two cans of black eyed peas. And I normally don't like canned black eyed peas. I like fresh or frozen. But we're going to, and then this is golden hominy. You could use the white hominy, but it makes the color so pretty if you use the yellow hominy in there. People have asked me about my can opener. This came from Thrive Life, and it was listed in the accessories. It's I don't know if they still have it or not, but that's where I got it, because I always get a question about it. Now I'm going to take my little can drainer, I've showed y'all this before, and just put it over the top of my can like this, dump it upside down, and pour the juice out. And I'll be right back three times. Get all the liquid out that I can because I'm going to have liquid from the chopped tomatoes. Okay, there's one can of peas. The hominy. And I'll put y'all a recipe card in at some point. There's our yellow hominy. I love hominy. I like to cook it down with bell peppers and onions. It's good. Okay, there's my other can of black eyed peas. I hope my bowl's big enough. I might be dirty in another bowl here in a minute. I'm going to get me a spatula where I can stir this. Okay, we're going to put in, and I really don't think this is going to be big enough already because I got too much to stir in probably. But I'm going to try it. I'm a gambler sometimes. We're going to put in one cup of chopped green onions. And I did the white and the green both. And I'm just going to try to toss it after each thing and maybe that'll... It's already getting pretty. The colors. And we need a cup of diced bell pepper. We need a fourth of a cup of a seeded or two or three, however many it takes. I had a great old big one. Seeded jalapeno. And then a cup of onion, and I use 1015 and purple. So you can use whatever you want. You can use a white onion, whatever you have on hand. I had part of a purple one left where I had made hamburgers, and I had some 1015 from I don't remember what in the refrigerator. So then it calls for one cup of chopped fresh tomato. And I need to get a bigger bowl. Now, what am I going to do? Where am I going to get a bigger bowl? Let me see what I can do, and I'll be right back. Well, I found a bigger one, okay? It's one of my, that's a bowls from Tupperware. But that'll be big enough to mix everything up in, and then I can do what I want to with it. So I'm going to put all of this in here. And I'll try to fix it where y'all can kind of see what I'm doing here. That's so pretty. I like pretty stuff. Then we need about a half of a cup of uh, diced or chopped cilantro. And y'all can already see this has got that real Tex-Mex flavor with the seeded jalapenos and the cilantro and the tomatoes and the onions. Yeah, it's good. It calls for one large jar. Now, I'm considering large as like a 16 ounce. Is this a 16? Yeah. A, a picante. And I didn't want to use my homemade in this, so I just bought paste. Y'all can get whatever brand you like. Just a large jar. And then you want to toss that in with your stuff real good and get it all wet and coated. Because then we're going to add our dry ingredients to it. The dry ingredients are cumin, sugar, salt, and pepper. And because there was no garlic in this, I added a couple of teaspoons of garlic powder. Now that's not in the recipe. That's the advantage of watching the video. You, you see if I add something extra to it. I've had several people that have said something about, I don't post the recipe. 
99.9% of the time the recipe is on a card at the end of the video. So if you quit watching because you don't want to listen to me rattle at the end, you might miss the recipe. And it called for two tablespoons of cumin. And my family's not a big fan of cumin, so I put one, and I may add more. I'm fixing the taste of it and see. Let y'all look at it. See all the colors, how pretty it is? It's very yummy, too. I've had this several times at friends that have had it at parties, and I've made it, and we like it. So let me taste it and see what we got going on here. We might have to, you could add some beans, like black beans in there. You could really put a lot of different stuff in it, but this is all I'm going to put today. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Call for a tablespoon of salt. That's a little bit too much salt. I would cut it down to two teaspoons or one and a half and go from there. Let me make sure I didn't just get a bite of salt. It wasn't mixed up good. It's a little bit, it's a little bit salty. So I would cut back on the salt. I'll try to remember to notate that when I edit the video. Okay, let me get this in a dish and um, get pictures of it, and I'll get in there to the computer and start editing and getting it ready to come out tonight for y'all to see for the Tuesday video. Okay, I got it back in the clear bowl where the colors will show up better. See all the different colors in it? It's so good. I did change the recipe card to one teaspoon of salt, and then y'all can go from there and add more to taste. And from two tablespoons of cumin, I changed it to one uh, tablespoon again to your taste okay guys I hope that this is something that y'all can use for a family gathering or a movie night for chips and dip or just to go with your meal it's very good I've been making this for a long time sometimes I do use black beans instead of the black eyed peas but that's what the original Texas caviar calls for the can of black eyed peas drained so I hope that y'all make it and enjoy it, and that you'll come in and let me know if you made it, if you tried it, if your family liked it, what your variation on the recipe is. Because anytime I put up a recipe, that's just an open canvas. That's just a starting place for you to take out or add in anything that would make it better for your family. Make it yours, and just enjoy the soup out of it. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I will be back Thursday with something good, cooking for one or two. I'm thinking I might do something for St. Patrick's Day, because <clears throat> that'll give y'all time to decide if you want to make it or not, because from, you know, just be a couple of weeks till St. Patrick's Day, so it may be something for St. Patrick's Day if you want to fix something for yourself and celebrate, or you and one more, or whatever you want to do with it. And I'm not promising, but I might. So y'all take care of yourself, the good Lord bless and keep you, and I'll see you day after tomorrow on Thursday with something good. Please share my channel with other people who are to continue to grow, and um, I can help other people learn to cook some good southern dishes, and I can make aprons for some more people, and just chit-chat and have a good time with y'all. I'll see you soon.